So I'm going to try and record from this phone and see if it uh, hopefully I have a decent quality so these held up pretty well it was very very awkward to drive over this um, I think I need to mount the ramps to the actual trailer because the torque of the back wheels was making the making the ramp slip out uh, it's pretty good I put wood under there so that it doesn't sit on the suspension so I'm actually strapping this whole thing down and so that the suspension isn't fighting the ratchet straps um, now that I have it on the trailer I can actually mock up some kind of a system to roll this buggy on easier because yeah so this is like test number one this is the draft number one trailer uh, we will obviously improve it in the future but yeah fantastic and then one more thing I wanted to show is Lauren's car is a little bit too tall and it actually makes the trailer look like the there's a lot of weight on the back here but if you take a look at this you can see how balanced the trailer is there you go that's how I unhook the trailer so with my weight on the back I can pop that that ball off the front and then done so that's kind of cool that's kind of cool how the trailer is very balanced like I was thinking that it was going to be very heavy at the back here but to my surprise the trailer is pretty balanced so yeah there was no way I'm lifting that ball off the car so that when I when I stood here and it popped off I was like that's easy There you go. I could have left the rear wheels on. Uh, I decided not to. I mean, I could have left the front wheels on too. They were only sticking out a little bit. But I think this looks better. I think it looks better with no wheels. Just a lot more, a lot more professional, I think. Oh. <laughs> and you know what? To quote a wise man, Rob Dom, that's not going nowhere. Oh, that's not going anywhere. 